car racing is an exciting sport that attracts new fans every year. Whether it's Formula One, Top Fuel, or NASCAR, these fans all share a love for the thrill of a race and watching drivers in high-performance machines compete. In today's activity, you'll have the chance to build a CO2-powered dragster that can be tested and raced against your classmates' cars. Before we begin, you'll need to gather the following materials. Like many other products, race cars are created by engineers and technicians who use a system known as the design process. In most situations, this process includes the following steps. Idea, sketch, design drawing, prototype, testing, modification, production. It's time to construct the dragster body. To begin, pop out the dragster body and nose from the basswood sheet. Next, glue the nose onto the front of the body so the marks on the two pieces form an X. Once the nose has been glued, it's time to pop out the pieces from the plywood sheet. Take the two part two and four part one pieces. Glue a part one over each notch side of a part two, but make sure the axle hole on each part one is aligned with the flat end of part two. Let these two assemblies dry before moving on. After the glue on the two assemblies has dried, you're ready to move on. Take a part four and slip it into the groove on the back of the dragster body. Make sure part four is pushed all the way into the body so it is flush with the back of the dragster. Next, apply glue in the notches on the underside of the dragster. Place the part one and two assemblies into these notches so the axle holes are closer to the dragster's nose. Be sure you don't get any glue in the axle holes. Before the glue dries, tighten the screws into the pre-drilled holes on the underside of the part one and two assemblies. Let the dragster dry completely before moving on. We're ready to move forward with the dragster construction. 
Take part five and glue it over the four pieces that extend from the back of the dragster. Make sure the wide notches line up with the basswood body pieces and the narrow notches line up with part four. At the factory, CO2 cartridges are filled with pressurized carbon dioxide gas and sealed. During the start of a dragster race, the seal is punctured and the pressurized CO2 is allowed to quickly escape. The movement of this gas is what creates the thrust that propels your car down the track. If you want to finish your dragster, in other words, make it look cool, you can do that now. You could sand down the edges for a smoother look and even apply coats of paint or another type of finish. Be sure to check with your instructor before moving on to this step. It's time to add the screw eyes to the body of your dragster. During a race, a monofilament line is used to keep the cars from going off course. The screw eyes are attached to the bottom of the car and serve as a place for this line to be stretched along the car. At this time, add one screw eye in front of the rear wheel axle holes and the other before the front wheel axle holes. Make sure the screw eye is centered on the thickness of the body and is inserted straight into the wood so the point of the screw eye does not stick outside the dragster body. The holes of the screw eye should face the length of the body. Here's a tip. If you're having trouble getting the screw eyes in, try making a small hole with a nail or T-pin where the screw eye will go, and then insert the screw eye. The two main forces your dragster will need to overcome as it moves down the track are surface friction and fluid friction. Friction is defined as a force that resists motion between two objects that are in contact with each other. Now we are ready to add the axles and wheels to the dragster. To begin, remove the axle bushings from the plastic font and remove any burrs with sandpaper. Push an axle bushing into each axle hole on the dragster. Make sure the wide end of the bushing is on the outside of the dragster body. After your bushings are in place, take one axle and push a rear wheel onto one end. Push the other end through the axle bushings at the back of the dragster. Place the other rear wheel on this end of the axle. Now we will repeat the process for the front axle and wheels. Push a front wheel on one end, push the other end through the bushings, and place the other front wheel on the opposite end. Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In the example of a dragster race, 
Expelled CO2 from a cartridge is the unbalanced force that acts on the dragster, causing it to move forward. Now that your dragster is complete, you're ready to send it down the track. To prepare it for a race, first place a 4 or 8 gram CO2 cartridge in the rear of the dragster. Make sure the cartridge is all the way in and fits snugly. Now you're ready to run the car on the track just like you would race any dragster on your racing system. Good luck! This concludes our easy build video. If you would like to explore other hands-on kits from Pitsco, check out our website at www.pitsco.com.